Right, question. The sequence of the amino acids in a protein molecule is coded for by DNA and RNA. Remember, DNA makes RNA, RNA makes proteins. The table below shows the selected messenger RNA codons with the corresponding amino acids. Okay, now, I'm going to just quickly show you here. If these are your messenger RNA codons, if we did your DNA here, and I will use another color for the tRNA here, the tRNA and T codons, okay? You need to know how to do this, guys, and it's got to just be second nature. So if the messenger RNA is A, G, C, your DNA is going to be, at, remember, adenine to thymine or uracil if it's RNA and guanine to cytosine. Even for me, I write this on each question. Okay, so A2 is going to be, now it can't be T, I mean it can be T because it's DNA. G2, C and C2, G. So there you go. And your transfer RNA anticodon is going to now be U, C, G. It is the same as the DNA but opposite to messenger RNA. Complementary, complementary, the same. All right, so um, should we do one more? Okay, let's do one more. Here we've got GAU, so G is going to be C, complementary to A is going to be T, and U is going to be A. So what is our tRNA? That's going to be CUA. It's the same as the DNA, except that uracil replaces the thymine. Okay, so let's look at our questions. Okay, uh, right, according to the table, how many codons code for, okay, now remember you've got to be able to, well you don't actually be able, you don't have to pronounce this, but it's fe, fe, nail, a, lanin. So phenylalanine, and if we look up here, so how many codons will code for it? How many codons are going to code for it? Come on, you have to think. It's going to be, there's phenethylene, and there's another one. So <laughs> that's one, that's two. So how many code? There are two. Don't write what they are. They've asked you for the number. How many? Okay, codons will code for it. There are only two. You don't have to write what they are. You would have got no marks. What is the anticodon for glutamic acid? So first we have to find glutamic acid. Okay, here's glutamic acid. All right. Now they wanted to know um, the anticodon. The anticodon would be here. So your anticodon is going to be C. So G to C. A to T, but we don't have T's in... RNA we have uracil and G to C. So it's C-U-C. C-U-C. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Guys, I know you got full marks so far. Then, question three. A section of the messenger RNA has the following base sequences and is read from left to right. So we're going to go G-A-U, C-U-C, CAC, and we know that this is RNA because there are no T's here. There's no thymine. So it says provide the DNA triplet base. Okay, we can't see the DNA triplet base for the last codon. And there's my last codon. Okay, so they want the DNA for that. So if we've got A, C, C, what is our DNA going to be? It is going to be a to T, C to G, and C to G. Remember? A, T, and G to C. There we go. Easy. I mean, this is like a giveaway. It's like, here's a mark for you, and here's a mark for you, and here's a mark for you. I feel like the Oprah Winfrey show, guys. Please, this is so easy. I know you can do it. Okay. A section of the mRNA has the following base sequence and is read from left to right. So there we've got that. Provide the first amino acid coded for by this section of, amino, uh, of, of messenger RNA. So it's going to be GAU. So now we've got to go back to our table. GAU, 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 GAU. Here we go. GAU. So it's going to be aspartate. 
subject as partate. Okay, that's our amino acid. Then, oh, here we get mutations. Okay, now, it says a mutation occurred which resulted in the following base sequence on the mRNA molecule. Okay, so this looks like the same molecule we had over there. So see if we can, ha, okay. So where's the mutation? GAU, CUC, GAC, A, G, R, ah, here we go. There's our mutation. In other words, the C was swapped for a U. Okay, so what do they want to know? Describe the mutation that's occurred. Well, that's easy. This is one, two, three, four. So it's the fourth. So fourth codon. Okay. A, G, C changes to A, G, U. Or you could say in the fourth codon, the U, the C changes to U because there's only one C and one U. So that's what's changed. Alrighty, then... A mutation occurred which resulted in the following base sequence on the, on the mRNA. Uh, explain the effect this mutation, which is the one we've just done, will have on the resulting protein. Okay, so now we've got to check AGU and AGC. Let's see here. AGU. Um, AGU is serene. And AGC, AGC, oh, there's AGC. Oh, it's also serine. So both those, uh, both those codons will code for the same amino acid. So that's easy. So you, then you say both codons code for serine. Therefore, no effect... on protein that results because all you've done is you've replaced serine for serine in the sequence it's the same thing okay then uh, our last name and describe the process occurring in the nucleus which results in the formation of the messenger RNA okay that's going to be trans uh, 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 cryption but I'm going to change this, all right? So let me just quickly find a pen, and we're going to change it. And we're going to say that occurs in the cytoplasm. It's not going to work. Uh, let's do yellow. In the cytoplasm, okay, and results in the formation of a protein. Okay, what have I done? We've already done transcription. The question before we did transcription. Now we're doing trans... I'm going to do translation. Okay, translation only has five points. So I'm going to write them very, very quickly. So keep up with me, and I'm probably going to do a lot of abbreviating too. So just bear with me. You must know these five points. So we're looking at translation. And remember, translation RNA makes proteins. Okay, this is one of the other five points that you must learn. Okay, so number one, we're going to have mRNA attaches to ribosome, okay, with codons exposed. Think of it as standing on, as doing a handstand, okay. So all the codons are now exposed um, to the top, okay. Then each tRNA... Okay, carries a specific amino acid. Okay, then number three, when the tRNA anticodon, okay, it's an anticodon, matches the complementary, so complementary mRNA. A codon number four happens let me just move this down a little bit um, a little, 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 when the tRNA little, da, da, the tRNA releases and this is important it releases a specific amino acid okay 
into the, and this is also important, correct sequence. Okay, the correct sequence. And here we've got our last one. And then we end up with the correct sequence and all your amino acids will join with peptide bonds. And what is going to happen? They're going to have a specific, to form a specific protein. Okay, guys and girls, that's it.